So in this C++ Builder video, I want to show you the new support for SQLite databases in C++ Builder XE3. Now SQLite is an open source database. You can get all the information you want about SQLite from SQLite.org. I have that on the screen here in the browser, including documentation and help. And there's also downloads that are available. You can download the source code for SQLite. You can also download documentation files. And for uh, Windows, there's a command line shell, which allows you to create and modify SQLite databases. There's a zip file of a 32-bit version of the SQLite DLL. Well, I want to be able to use C++ Builder both in 32-bit and 64-bit. And for Macintosh, uh, Macintosh ships with SQLite. So if I go over to my Macintosh and say go to a folder and go to user lib and scroll down, you'll see a, a file called lib SQLite 30.dilib. Uh, 2.2 megabytes, and that ships with whatever version of the operating system I'm using, OS X Mountain Line. So it's already there and ready for me to use if I want to take a, an application built in C++ Builder and compile and run it on the Macintosh. On 32-bit Windows, again, I could download and store the 32-bit DLL that's already pre-built for me. But what about 64-bit? Well, there's instructions on the SQLite uh, site on how to build the DLL. I thought it'd be interesting to use the C++ Builder 64-bit compiler that's new in XE3 to build the 64-bit DLL for SQLite. So over here I've got the source code for SQLite and I've got a batch file that I got from Steven and R&D that will use the C++ Builder 64-bit command line compiler to build the DLL for SQLite. Let's go look at the simple batch file. First I'll set the root directory to be the directory where I've got the SQLite source code. Then I'll use the C++ Builder 64-bit command line compiler and set the some options for building the DLL. We need to get uh, some libraries, some include files for the standard uh, C runtime library. And then we'll do an, the DLL export of SQLite with no debug information and a few other command line options. And then at the end, the two source files that are part of the, C the latest release of the SQLite 3 source code. And a couple other options as well for SQLite to enable column metadata, for example, and, uh, and expression depth. And then we'll do a pause and we're done. So let's uh, show that we can build this DLL with uh, C++ Builder 64. So we'll just run the command line compiler. And when we're done, we go back to our directory and we've got a 64-bit DLL. And we can put the DLL in the right directories on Windows. And since I'm running 64-bit uh, Windows, uh, in the system 32, I'd put the 64-bit DLL and place the 32-bit DLL, I put that in syswow64. So here's the SQLite that I downloaded from the SQLite.org uh, website. And I'll go to a place where I store a lot of my databases for testing purposes. And we can use the SQLite uh, command utility to create SQLite databases. Just type SQLite3 space and then give it a, a table name that you want. So maybe this is table1.db. And now we've got the SQLite prompt, and we can use uh, SQL commands to create tables and insert data and so on. So let's just type uh, create table, and we'll call this table uh, table1, and we'll give it uh, two columns, first name, varchar, uh, 30 and last name bar char 30 and then we'll close the command with a semicolon now we've created our first table we can insert some data into the table one uh, first name uh, David 
and last name I. Remember to always uh, end with a semicolon. Insert into tab one, values, uh, Anders uh, Olson. And we can say select star from tab one. And now we've got uh, two rows of data, uh, David and I and Anders and O. We can look, use other commands, and if we want to know what the commands are, just dot help, and you get a whole uh, host of uh, commands. For example, I might uh, want to look at uh, what tables are available in this database. So just put dot tables, and we only have tab one as one of our tables in the database. When you're done with the database, just hit control C and you're out of the command. Now, if we go back over to the IDE, uh, in the Data Explorer, we've got uh, all the different database types that are supported through DB Express in C++ Builder XZ3, including Interbase, Interbase to Go. But in SQLite, we could add a new connection, that little uh, test table we created. It was called Table 1. And we can make sure that it's available by hitting the Test Connection. And it is. And then we can go and use the Data Explorer and see what tables are available. Uh, we had that Table 1 with no indexes, with first name and last name. I have another table up here, which is the SQLite test table, is the name I gave it. And I've got a person table, and I've got an index, which has uh, a first name and last name. So we can do them alphabetical, for example. So now that we've got our SQLite databases, uh, a test version, and that little test table that I created. I'll use the first one I created earlier, which is SQLite test. And let's create uh, a new FireMonkey C++ project. File, new, FireMonkey desktop application, HD. And we'll put a SQL connection component down. And we'll connect that up to SQLite. And the connection string that we had was called SQLite test. We can set the connected property to true, and now we're connected to the database. We can right mouse click, bring up the live bindings wizard, and say link grid with a data source. We'll use a string grid, and we'll connect it to a bind source uh, DBX, which is connected through SQL connection. It's a SQLite driver. SQLite test is the connection name. So we could choose the different types of commands, a query, a table, a store procedure, and a server method. Let's just do a SQL query. And we'll say select star from person. And we'll test the command to make sure it's OK. And we'll get all the rows from the person table. And then we want to add a data source navigator. And we're done. So here now is our navigator. Here's our uh, bind source DB. And here's our table with, uh, in this case, uh, two rows. We can uh, look at the live binding designer and see what's going on. In addition, here's the navigator and the bind source DB. We can bring up the columns editor and add uh, and add all the fields, the email, first name, and last name. So maybe 100 for the email address 25 and last name last 25. We can hit run and we've got our uh, our columns with email address, and we can move between the different rows. And that's how easy it is to use a SQLite table inside of uh, your FireMonkey applications.